What's up guys, this is Jay here, Jay Media One, and we are back with another cool product to review. Today we got the, a couple different things from Ulanzi is the name of the company. And they make some of these really cool different lights. And this one is the CL15 cube light. We're gonna give this guy a check. And then we also got a plethora of stuff in here, which includes a stick light. And this is an interesting concept because I think you can do a lot of cool things with these. This is $69.95, they have a $5 coupon if you go to Amazon, we're gonna leave a link below so you guys can check it out for yourselves. This has lots of different colors. It's got 10 scenes, 69 LEDs inside of here. So it's pretty cool, we're gonna give it a look. Just gotta open a box here on the side. They sent it kind of in a package like this because it comes with other stuff, right? So they come with these accessories. Not sure, I think that's just a bag to hold it in. We're gonna have to get into it. And then the, this little lens cover, which is cool. And that's it in there. So we're gonna give that a look too. Comes with a USB-C cable, which is cool. So we just have to unzip tie that. Um, this thing only weighs like 0.61 pounds, so not even a full pound. So it's pretty light. And it does have this cool screw hole on here. I was reading about it that uh, allows you to mount it too, which is cool. So inside of here, we got this little lanyard and it's got that screw right there. And I'm guessing that's gonna go in the bottom of the light to hold on to it. So that's kind of cool. It's got a little carrying lanyard. If we pull it out, it comes in this nice felt case. Just saying that it's qualified there. And then I think there's some reading material in here. So you gotta get, try to get that out. Yeah, a little bit of user manual guides showing you how to operate it and whatnot. So that's kind of cool. I think we could figure most of that out, <clears throat> but it is there. So it, it comes in this nice felt bag, which is cool. And then we just slide it out of here. Man, this thing's really nice. It's built well. It's got a really nice cover on it. And it looks just like your, your regular stick light or your shop light, right? So this says that it takes eight watts of power. It's got a 7.4 volt battery at 2,600 milliamp hours. And uh, it's got this little screw hole here on the bottom. And then there's another one on the top. So we have some different options there on how we want to mount this if we wanted to mount it on a stand. You got your USB-C here, which I'm guessing is going to be for charging. We do have this little wheel that rotates right here. And then we got two different buttons. We got a power button and we got a button that says M. So if we hold down the power button, typically that's how we turn things on. It's got this little LCD screen and it shows some details on here. It says CCT shows the battery life is at two bars right now. And then the M button right here, not sure what that does yet, but we're gonna have to figure it out. Also in the middle of this wheel, in the middle of this wheel, there's a button. So if we hit that button, it turns on. And then we can rotate the wheel here. And when we rotate it, you see it changing different colors. So it's going to like that cool little teal look, purple, more of a red, orange, yellow, green. Basically all the way through the spectrum just by rotating this button around here. And then the M is what's going to give us our mode. Okay, so that's what that stands for. And there's RGB that shows up when we hit that. So if we turn the wheel now, we can see that the brightness is increasing quite a bit. And it's on red right now. But if you look on here, it shows R, G, and B. So you have your red. Then it shows our lighting percentage. If we hit the M button again, we can turn that up or down. And then... If we click it again, it shows us our percentage of brightness. So this thing cranks, I mean, look at that. That is at 100% right there, which is super bright, and this thing's powerful. If we turn it down, we can get it all the way down to zero, and you can watch it kind of going up there. 85, 90, 100, so. It's pretty powerful, it's bright. I like the different modes on it. This is a H and S button, so maybe hue and saturation right here. So you can change that as well. And then like I said, the RGB button on here. So that's our red button. 
So there's a lot of different options with this. You can make it strobe like that. The different options, I think that the best thing would just, for me anyways, the best use case scenario would just be to use this as a light stick for some extra lighting in the room. Maybe, and I like how you can adjust it and there is a, a little screen here that tells you how bright and dim it is getting. How cool is this guys? There's an app right here. You just go to RGB-Link on the App Store, or Google Play, whatever. You're gonna find this app for this light, which is very cool. So you can change the lighting level here. And this thing's all Bluetooth connected. So everything that's connected here is Bluetooth. So if you're running this light in the background or far away and you need to adjust something, you can do it directly from your phone, which I find more convenient and just easier to use because you got your color temperature right inside of here as well. So we could change the color temperature and it tells you down here how many K it's running at right now. So if you look right there, you can see that's 2,500. And you can crank this all the way up. So that's 8,500. And then you can also change your lighting level in there too. Then there's these different level menus down at the bottom which lets you do like a, a color wheel. So you can change the color however you want based off of where you're at on the color wheel, which is super cool. I mean, look how easy that is. Then you also got this little camera where you can click on obtain and you can pick, you can find uh, different colors based off of that. So that's kind of cool. And then you also have these different like lighting zone levels. So you can set lighting one, lighting two, uh, cinema, if you like, which is cool. Uh, ambiance or ambulance. This is ambulance right here. Then we got fire engine, police, goes back and forth. Don't recommend doing that in your car. Um, and then just RGB one, RGB two. There's also an SOS. Um, and then candlelight, which is super nice. So this is very, very cool app. And then you can, uh, there's also like a little favorites down here. So you can save things to your favorites. They got some presets and then just, you can create your own. And then if you want to create your own, like say I want to create this one, that's this specific color. I click on the little heart that's saved to my favorites. So now I can go back to my favorites and, the, and then I see that it's right there. And it saves the lighting level as well as the color that you choose. So this thing's got a lot of cool features. I think the app makes it super awesome. It's cool that it has controls on it, but the app just gives you a lot more variety and features and things like that. So we really like that as well. And it stands up okay on the table too. Then they give us this little baggie. So we pull this out. Some Velcro on both sides here. So this is a soft light filter, it looks like. So there's Velcro on this side, and then there's some Velcro on here, and this kind of turns into a little box, right? And then we could take this white part of it, and you kind of stick it on the inside, and uh, we kind of make our own little light filter out of this, which is cool. This is the first time I'm opening it too, guys, so I don't know what's involved, but just kind of giving it a look, so. You got a little light filter there, like a soft light filter if we wanted to do it that way. So that's kind of neat. So that's cool. And then we also got this. So I have no idea what this is for. <coughs> open this up. And it's just got like this plastic on here. It almost looks like a just a long piece of clear film. And then there's and open and close for these clasps here. So you can open that on both sides. And then there's a little place to hang right there. So this opens up almost like a, a baggie, like a sandwich baggie right there. And these clasps are what holds it together. So you can also slide it down inside of here. Kind of get it to slide in there like that. And you can use it like that, and then you can hang it up. So that's cool. A couple different different accessories or options to, to use with this thing, which is pretty neat. And then they give us this bag too, which looks just like a little lanyard or something that you can use as a clasp to hang this if you like, because there's this little area right here where you can clip it onto. 
So cool, they give you a, a couple different accessories, different ways to hang it up. A little uh, soft light filter if you want. And then, uh, you know, this thing's completely adjustable too, which is really nice. It's got the different ambers and whites inside of there, you can see. And it's just really easy to manipulate, move around and use, which is very cool. Uh, it does have uh, the 10 scenes, so the different modes, we, you guys saw that. It's rechargeable, which makes it super cool. Um, it says that it supports full power at 100 minutes, working longer time. The highest is 30 hours with the lowest brightness, which is a very long time for a, for a light. Uh, the standard nut hole here, this is a quarter inch, and then the same on the other side, so you can position or lock it. If you had a tripod, you can screw this onto the tripod and mount it that way. And they give you several different options on how to, to do that. We do have this screw here that we saw came on the lanyard, so we can also screw that in. Once we do that, we can hang it like that too. So lots of different options on how to mount it, how to use it. Great for like a photography stand would be good. It's got a built-in magnetic design on the back of the light that allows you to place your video lights on most metal surfaces, which is very, very cool. So it does have a magnet built into it as well. It comes with, uh, I believe, one year warranty or full refund um, and lifetime after the sale service. So they'll help you no matter what for life, which is very, very cool. Okay guys, so we got that and it is awesome and you guys can get one of your own in the description down below if you like. Uh, I will leave a link for you. Like I said, for the 69 bucks that this thing costs, I think it's well worth it. It's got five stars on Amazon, so it's a great product. And we're gonna use it over time and kinda come back and let you guys know how it was. Other than that, we got this little CL15 cube light here too, so we're gonna check that out. This thing just comes in a basic square white box, nothing too fancy. Pop this open. It does have this little pull tab here, which is cool. Just slide that out. And it comes nicely seated inside of the box. It does have this cover. As you can see, there's like some little pieces of metal on all four corners here. And then it is USB-C. We love the fact that everyone's making things USB-C because USB-C is just a universal, right? It's easy to use. It tends to charge faster and better. We got USB-C cables for everything, so we don't need to worry about having so many cords. I mean, it, these changes just happen all the time and it drives you crazy because you got micro USB, USB-A, it's like, holy cow. So anyways, this is what it looks like. So it's got this cool little flap on the back and you can see that it's got five little suction cups here and those suction cups are cool because they allow you to stick it to the surface like this so you can just stick it down there and uh, you can even stick this to like a, a piece of glass or a mirror or something like that which would be very cool if you were shooting videos like in a bathroom for example where you can just stick this right to the mirror it's got a little power button up here and two little knobs on the top this knob on the top says uh, dim, and this one on the top says CT. And then over here we have our USB-C charger. Screw hole on the bottom so we can mount it to a stand if we like as well, which is very, very cool. So we also have that option. Now we can take this and just hold the power button down. You can see that the light comes on right like that. And then this lets us change, you know, how rough we want the light to be so if we want it to be softer or harder light we can do that on this side and this is this this knob over here that says ct and then this is the dim in the bright mode so we can make it as bright as we want to and this thing gets super bright all the way down to that's the dimmest so the dimmest the brightest and maybe somewhere in between would be good this tells you how much charge it has which is cool it shows you that there's four little lights lights on here to tell you and it shows three is ready to go right out of the box. So it is charged right out of the box, which is cool. And it's nothing super fancy, but it would be a good little rig if you were to, to film in like a, an area where you had to stick this to something. And it does have those suction cups that are pretty powerful. So we can stick it onto wherever we want. You can also fold it up like this if you don't want to use that option. Mount it to a tripod, you got an additional light. 
which is very cool. We like these little different lighting op options for photography because you don't want to always have to use a massive box light. And sometimes you just, you know, want to have something that's portable. These things are super portable and super easy to use, and that's the best part about uh, this stuff. But Yulani's coming out with some very cool products, Yulanzi, so you can see here on the side. And uh, these are just a couple that we are taking a look at today. And we will also leave a description down in the link below for this guy, this little cube. So if you guys like this video, make sure to mash the like button. Also subscribe to the channel because we're doing new tech or videos review videos all the time and we will see you guys in the next one later guys